Spud Guns, how are you? This is I, Art of Blood. Welcome to another edition, edition, another episode, another installment, if I can actually get my tongue working, of <laughs> Creeping Screams. Um, and right now we are doing a, an episode about movies. The other day, John and I, my... I think I called him my internet husband. <laughs> um, there's a long story behind that, too. But the other day, he and I were hanging out, and we started talking about horror films and Halloween and movies and stuff. Kind of so, about Halloween and stuff, what's your top five... Yes, give me five Halloween movies. Scary, spooky... Um, Halloween Town 1 and 2. I don't know about 3 and 4. I like those ones. Which is a beast break. I don't know if that's a Halloween movie, but it's one of my Halloween movies. Practical Magic. The Craft. Oh, and Mist of Avalon. That's a good one. Except when I watch it, I pretend that it's done more accurately to the book. I think that's it. There was like movies when I was a kid, like on Family Channel, but I can't remember what they are. I used to look forward to watching them every year, and then all of a sudden they just stopped playing. What about um, Rocky Horror? Yeah, that's a good one. It's not like one of my tops. No? No. Do you ever go to a Rocky Horror party? Uh, no, I haven't. Or we throw toast and stuff at the screen. No, I've never gotten a chance to experience it that way. Maybe that's why I'm not like that big of a, like not that I'm not a big fan of it, but that I'm not like as big. I've never had the experience. Okay, I have. Yeah? Yeah. Did you go all dressed up? Who'd you go dressed up as? I kind of went dressed up as like some weird pro cyberpunk thing. I had black outfit, black trench coat, crow makeup. I used to have, this is when I had long, long hair. And of course it made out of electrical tape. Nice. Yes, there was rice down everything. <laughs> you throw rice too, eh? Yeah, you throw rice, you know, water, um, the toast. There's, there'd be, uh, yeah, glitter, like, it, it was, it was okay, but. I would have eaten the toast. It was, <laughs> Um, it was okay, but I guess after all the years of the hype of it, it didn't, because it was here in town, it didn't yeah. really live up to the expectations. It's too bad. What's your favorite, um, five Halloween movies? Nightmare on Elm Street. That's got be definitely Nightmare on Elm Street, the original. Oh, I remember before Christmas. Maybe I'll add that one to mine. Beetlejuice. Fuck Beetlejuice. <laughs> I just watched it two nights ago. I have to create a food for that, uh, for, for my food group. You have to or you did? No, I have to. <gasps> I haven't done one yet. I have no idea what to make. Okay, so I would say, okay, Nightmare on Elm Street, Beetlejuice. This is a good list. The Rocky Horror Picture Show. Um, I'm going to throw in... Stoker's Dracula, the 1992 Ooh, version. Ooh, Keanu Reeves? Yes, Keanu Reeves. And Buffy the Vampire Slayer, the original movie. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, good list. Your list is better than mine. And then for, like, scary, like, I'm not, I'm not going to watch it with the lights turned off um, or low type of thing. Twin Peaks Firewalk with me. I, I have to admit, I cannot Twin watch... Twin Peaks Fire Walk with me? Yeah, I cannot watch the Twin Peaks at all at night with the lights off. What are Twin Peaks? I don't even know. You don't remember Twin Peaks? No. Yeah, you would have been about 12. It was 1990, I think. It was like 1989, 1990. Um, it lasted two seasons, and it was the... The whole where's Laura Palmer? Who killed who killed Laura Palmer? It was it was a crime sci-fi horror crime. It came out same time as the X Files. I have no idea. 
You've never seen Twin Peaks. I must have, but like I'm trying to, th- I could. And then Fire Walk with Me was like the um, a, pr- a prequel sequel movie that came out like two years later. They mind fucked you. The character of Bob is fucking creepy. <laughs> Did you hear that, Bob? You're creepy. Just kidding. Remember any of um, Maybe I blocked it out because I was so scared. When you were young, though, you were, like I said, you were about 10, 12 years old. Do you remember Children of the Night? The movie? Yeah. That's that vampire movie, right? Yeah. With the lungs that... Yeah, a fucking movie. And she gets, she gets the, the grandma gets the um, golf club in the head. Oh, I vaguely remember. I just remember that when I, I, I saw... Somewhere on VHS. We should watch it because we saw that. I watched it when I was like, I think I was 12. I went to visit my dad in New Brunswick and his girlfriend had three daughters. They were older than me and they fucking let me watch Children of the Night. And the blonde girl whose lungs get popped out of her looked exactly like one of the girls' sister, or friends. And I thought it was her and it messed with my head. To this day, I'm still traumatized because of that so fucking you got, movie. Your, your brain got arse jacked. Yeah, it did. I can try to watch that tonight. I'm trying to think what else. No, I think that's my list. That's a good list. What do you mean? Like, you I have all your soul. <laughs>